What's going on? Welcome to Classy Tacos. Thanks for stopping by. Today we're going to get into installing the Desert Desert Seat Jackers and their front kind of molly panel. Uh, I've been looking at these for a while, but I just never jumped on them because I already have the Bracketeer system installed in the truck with an Element E50 fire extinguisher on each seat. So I will put a link to that video in case you want to watch it. But so that's what took me so long to buy these. Um, I do have a long ride on Tuesday, so I'm interested to get these in. I've had a couple of long rides, and it has not gone well for me. I just don't like the way it feels on my back and my legs. Um, that being said, since I do have the Element E50 fire extinguisher, I want to keep it. So what I'm going to end up doing is doing this video just to install this. So then I will do a second video, like a follow-up on it, on how I install my gear to the panel. So let me show you what I got, and I'll show you what's on the bench. All right, so here we are on the bench. Uh, get a set of screws. These are the four actual seat jackers right here. Uh, there's probably a lot of options that you can go with. The main reason why I definitely like these and why I think these are important. For one, I mean, other than being well-made, you know, solid block. It looks like well-machined aluminum. This pin right here, man, is so important. Like, you shouldn't be throwing anything on your seat that doesn't have this pin because this lines it to the factory spot. And then you have your two holes here to mount this panel. So each one gets its own panel, which is cool. Also, aluminum. That comes with a sticker. Got a big sticker here. So we're going to jump into that. They also sell spots for the back seat. I didn't want to buy, like, their kits. For the back seat, if you want to, you can just go to any one of your hardware stores and just pick up some washers. I just would not use washers for the front, man. You want to be able to have a piece with a pin so that it gets into where it's supposed to be. Um, for the rear, I just got these are just quarter inch grade A washers. There's a possibility you're not going to find these at like your big box stores. But if you go to like your little hardware stores, you know what I'm talking about? The ones that have like the aisles of no a bunch of stuff that you would never need uh right here that's where you find these guys at so i mean it's pretty should be pretty easy pretty simple let's uh hop into the truck and we'll get this going so here's the system that i have in place right now this is the bracketeer system with the element e50 i haven't had any issues with it i just believe that for storage this system is superior and it raises the seat so we're going to get this off first so all i'm going to do is just slide this all the way back so the stock bolts are 14 mil jump into the back real quick if you have floor mats you're gonna want to get them out of your way like if you have the aftermarket kind of floor mats you want to get them out of the way to be able to pop these guys off they should come off pretty easy it's the same thing another 14 now that we have those off i'm just gonna put my washers underneath it so pro tip here you want to put the washer underneath the seat piece not like this okay that doesn't do anything so you want to get this up and just kind of you can roll forward a little bit slide it up let it drop in place and get like a one or two turns in same thing over here see how you can slide up a little get one or two there you go drop it in one or two turns and you have effectively moved the back of your seat up about a quarter inch all right let's jump back over to the front all right back in the front we are don't tighten up anything in the back yet until you get your spots and your positions in here first so here are the seat jackers and this is why i believe that pin is so important okay because if you lift up your seat right here there's a pin right here that aligns the chair that's important so all you're gonna do is pop this into that spot just like that grab your other one just follow the pin push that in then what you're gonna do is make sure the pin gets into where it needs to go right there you're solid so there's a little test fit you can see where that pin is really important so you're gonna take your factory bolts get those back in get those back in you can go ahead if you can get them on with this down, it's great because that means you'll be able to situate it. You're in the right spot. So the stock bolts are 14. So we got that up and out of the way. All right, line up your pins. Perfect. 
we're going to drop in the supplied hardware. If they don't go in right away, you can kind of maneuver a little bit, play with it, massage it. You know what you got to do. These are 15s now, okay? So new stuff is a 15. Now we're going to install the molly panel. So it's going to go, it's going to end up looking like this right here. So it's not in the way of anything. So it won't get in the way of any of your, well, I guess it won't get, I should say, it won't get in the way of these aftermarket uh, floor mats. Supply bolts, they give you four of them. So it looks like this inside one, it's going to be a little tight. Yeah, getting to that inside one is going to be a little rough over here. And these look like they're six, it's a six millimeter Allen. And then just like to, you know, finish tightening down so you can kind of hammer down on them. Okay, so this last one up here, up against kind of the tunnel for the transmission is a little tight. Alright, I mean that's what it's going to look like here, it's going to be done, um, what I'm going to end up doing is shooting another video for you guys with how I mount all my stuff to here, and what I plan on having on here, so we'll shoot that in part two, let's jump into the back, we'll hammer down on the back ones and the passenger side will be done, and there we go, this is in and done, let's move over to the driver's side, all right, so back seat on the driver. I got my floor mats up and out of the way. Same same concept. We're just gonna pop these off here. These are 14s. You can kind of push this forward a little bit. Get that washer underneath. Same concept here. Push it forward. Get the washer underneath. Get those lined up. You can put two or three threads just like that that's on there so let's go ahead and slide over to the front same shot so the 14s here slide this up and out of the way so we're just going to take one of our nice seat jackers just line them up in that hole get the other one put the pin in the hole here just like that Go ahead and get these in right now. Make sure your pins line up in the pinholes. Then you're gonna take the supplied hardware from Desert Does It. And we get those in. Supplied hardware from Desert Does It is a 15. Their Molly piece, I think they call this the MMO or NMO. What's it say right there? Oh, that says DDI, I wasn't even close. All right, let's uh, get these started. All right, nice. So if you can see here, the, uh, it looks like it does not, it doesn't get in the way your seat release here. Um, and then, you know, it gives you some room here to add stuff to. So kind of one of the main reasons why I went with this. All right, so we're pretty much good here. Let's uh, just jump into the back seat and get the back seat all done. Just like that. I'll get the light out. This guy is good to go. So no BS, I'm not trying to sell you anything. First impression is, this feels amazing. I feel like the bottom of my legs have some support. Um, I feel good. I feel like I have enough room here. I will say right off the bat, you're sitting a, a little bit higher. So looking out of the windshield, kind of the visor, you know how when you get too close to a red light and you got to do one of those, I feel like... I might be doing that more until I get used to this, but right now this feels amazing. This feels really good. Um, 
I definitely dig it. I think it's worth it. Dude, they're pricey, but I think it's worth it. I think that this is one of those mods that like you should have right away. I kind of I kind of feel dumb for waiting so long to do this, but I'm glad I could do it and film it for you guys. Like I said, there will be a part two when I kind of put my gear on it and I kind of want to set it up right. So hope you guys enjoy. Stay safe out there. Highly recommend. I definitely dig it, all right? Be good.